In order for your sales process to run smoothly, you need to be heavily armed with an array of objection handles. Like in any sales tool, they should be scripted, practiced, and rehearsed. No matter what product you're selling, in order to get the sale, you'll have to handle people and their objections. Don't fear the objection or hope that the customer doesn't have any. Be equipped to handle them. Objections tell you that you're moving towards making a sale. When I was trying to get a date with the lady who is now my wife, she must have thrown 30 objections at me. But I persisted. I overcame them and got the date. You see, she was a fitness instructor. It was about 8.30 in the evening and she had just finished teaching a class. She was tired, exhausted, and probably had no interest in me, but that didn't stop me, and now we're happily married. I was able to win her over because I was prepared to stay in that difficult place while I was getting rejected. The objections were similar to the ones the customers use, so I handled them in exactly the same way. You see, once you have a winning formula that works, stick to it. But to get that winning formula, you have to know what you're gonna say before you say it, and there's nothing wrong with that. Ask yourself, what would you say if the customer said, not interested? Do you have a response? What if they told you, I need time to think about it? If you just look blank and start flicking through your notes trying to find an answer, you can't do that, not on a call. It's over, the sale is lost, the deal's dead, the confidence is gone. It's that quick. The customer will know instantly by your response whether they're dealing with a professional or not. If you um or er or pause for too long, just for half a second, they will know you're not prepared. How to handle objections will come later in another chapter. Right now, we're getting the fundamentals right. The foundation of any handling objection is to listen. The most common objection that every salesperson gets is not interested. You simply listen to the customer, smile and agree. I understand, I'm with you. I agree, you're right. Who doesn't want to be smiled at and agreed with? You then weaken the objection by saying something like, I know you like to be informed before making a buying decision. Now you've moved the customer from being not interested to them needing more information. You then isolate the objection. Is there anything else apart from needing to be in a stronger position of knowledge that stopped us from doing a deal now? Now you can move into the handle part. Great, that's the purpose of my call, to direct you into a position of strength. So let me explain. And now you're back into the script. The first thing you need to do is to get an objection diary. I want you to begin by making notes of every customer objection, complaint, and emotional stall, or anything the customer says that stumped you. I've been stumped many times in my sales career and it's not a nice experience. But when you've practiced and rehearsed for every objection and you have the answers perfected and ready, your confidence will increase. The customers will feel that they're dealing with a professional and their objections will just tail off. But if they do still come up, you deal with them confidently. So there are five simple steps to handling objections. One, smile and agree. Two, reframe, weaken the objection. Three, isolate it. Four, handle it. Five, move or close. Depending where you are in the cell, you either move back into the pitch or you make a proposal and close. Let me show you how the five steps will pan out. I'll make it sound smooth like it's one step, not five. I want to come to your office and do a free sales seminar for you and your team. Not interested. I understand. Smile, see, smile and agree. That's exactly what your competitor said before I increased their sales by 25%. And I want the opportunity to apply the same strategy to your business. So tell me, how many salespeople are you currently working with? So, what did I do there? I've told him I can increase sales, I've done it before and in the same line of business. I've hooked him in and collected information. So he says, I've got 50 salespeople. Look, the only reason you wouldn't do this is because you think it's going to cost you. Look, it's free. All I want is to help you and your business, and if I increase sales like I said I would, then I'm sure you're gonna want me to come back. Sound fair enough? See, I'm closing now. 
And if he agrees, I get commitment by agreeing a date and time. It didn't sound like five steps, did it? So keep an objection diary and build the five steps for each one of them. Then practice each one until you know them backwards. Your confidence will increase, your sales will increase, and your commission will increase. It all begins with an objection diary.